This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, another lecture on budgeting. This I think is the third one, uh, and I am breaking it because what's left is all discussion, which can get tedious. But if you turn to the next page, you'll see methods of budgeting. How how do we actually approach it? And there are two basic approaches to preparing the budget, what we call incremental and what we call zero-based. Now obviously you're capable of reading the page yourself, uh, so I'm not going to write it all down, but let me explain basically what I mean by this. I don't know where you work, but suppose I asked you to go uh, tomorrow in your business and forecast the telephone bill for next year. I think what you're most likely to do, what most people do, is you'll say, well, how much have we spent this year? And any reason it should change for next year. You know, there are two reasons it stands to be different next year. One is you might say, oh, I think the telephone people will put the price up 5%. So take last year's figure and add on 5%. The other reason, uh, you might say, oh, we're using it a lot more. We've twice as many people in the business now. And so maybe if there are twice as many people, ah, oh, we should take twice the figure. But that's the sort of approach most people take. Uh, and it's incremental. And what it is in a, in a line is we take last year's figures and adjust partly for inflation. If you think they're going to put the price up, fine, add on a bit. Uh, but also for changes in the level of activity. So that's what we mean by incremental. However, one problem there is this. Telephone, I know, is a very baby example. But what we've just done there assumes we carry on using the same telephone services we currently are. What I mean by that, you see, at the moment you may use fixed line telephones. But there are alternatives. One is there may be other telephone companies supplying. Another is you could, instead of using fixed uh, telephone lines, you could give everybody mobiles, cell phones. Or, of course, another alternative might be to use something like Skype, you know, telephone calls over the internet. Now, we've assumed here, using incremental, that if we currently use fixed line from this provider, we carry on doing the same. But shouldn't somebody, sometime, look to see what alternatives there are and decide whether it's worth changing? And with incremental, you're not encouraged to. You know, shouldn't somebody sit down and say, ah, telephone, we're spending a lot of money on telephone. Let's list the alternatives. Uh, fixed line, mobile, internet. Let's cost them out, look at the costs, the benefits, and decide which is best. Maybe we'd stay with fixed line, maybe we'd change to internet. But the time we should do it is when we're doing the budgets. Well, that is zero-based. With zero-based budgets, You list the alternatives available. Fixed line, mobiles, internet. You cost out and choose the best. And then you prepare the budgets.
Now, I'm sure uh, you can see the, the potential benefit of that. I mean, there are problems, obviously, as I mentioned in a minute, uh, but surely that's a sensible sort of thing to do. Now, telegrams are perhaps a silly one, uh, but think about a, a factory making desks. We've always made the desks by hand, always. And when we come to the budgets normally, we do it incrementally. We say, oh, we're going to carry on making them by hand, or are we going to put wages up, you know, last year's figure, and inflation. But maybe there's a machine that could do the desks. Shouldn't we sit down sometime and say, which is going to be better? Shall we continue making them by hand? Or might it be better to use machines instead? And only when we've decided, OK, we'll continue by hand, or no, we'll change the machines, then we should actually budget what the by hand or what the machines are going to cost. Uh, the problem with that, again, I don't think anyone would disagree, it's a good idea. Obviously, it's time consuming to sit down and list the alternatives and then cost them out. And as a result, expensive, you know, you're paying people to do it. Also, and a big problem, who's going to do it? It needs expertise. You know, think about the what I just said about making desks by machine. I'm the accountant, and so I'm very good at um, doing the costings and things, but I know nothing about how to make a desk. The um, production manager knows all about how to make desks, you know, how good or bad a machine is, how good or bad labour is, but they know nothing about costing. And so it does need um, training uh, and several people involved. You know, a combination of production manager and people from the accounts department, which again is time consuming and expensive. And so what tends to happen, I'll put solution, but you know, keeping it brief. Uh, what tends to happen is to do this on uh, everything at once, you just be chaotic. Um, you identify the most important area each year. You know, I thought from a cost point of view, for most businesses, the cost of producing desks is going to be far higher than the, the potential saving on telephone. So before you even apply the zero base, you identify the most important areas. You'd use zero base on this, but incremental on everything else. You know, have a different area each year. So this year we'll focus on the machines. That can be zero base, everything else will be incremental. Next year, maybe telephone is a high cost for us. So perhaps next year we focus on telephone and use zero base. So in that way, it's much more manageable. <clears throat> and over a period, obviously, we can end up dealing with everything. OK. Uh, just one area left. And so one more lecture, this one we'll leave now.